By 9 a.m., it's over 100 degrees. At this temperature, reptiles are in their prime. Many of Arabia's reptiles are territorial. Some literally turn blue at the sight of an intruder. There are no prizes for guessing how the blue-headed agama got its name. The males position themselves on prominent lookouts where they can watch over their territories. They're looking for females. When they spot one, they turn on the charm by doing push-ups until they're blue in the face. The color tones down at other times, but when they breed, they crank it up. Each male tries to intimidate its rivals by looking the fittest and most colorful. Changing skin color is a trick that some agamids share with a peculiar cousin found in the dense vegetation of the southern coast. There are about 200 species of chameleons spread throughout the tropics. But the Arabian chameleon is an endemic found here and nowhere else. One thing all chameleons have in common is their famous ability to change color. As this Arabian chameleon stalks through the branches, pigmented layers of skin, rich in expandable color cells, move over one another to change the way they reflect light, effectively enabling him to change his color. His varied wardrobe can be used for many purposes. To stand out and communicate with other chameleons. To blend in and go unseen by his insect prey. Or to lighten or darken his color to reflect or absorb the sun to help with temperature control. His feet are unlike any other reptiles. He has the typical five toes, but they're fused into two bunches, making them look a bit like mittens. They're perfect for maintaining a grip on the branches. His arboreal life is further stabilized with a long prehensile tail. A lot of the comical chameleon's character comes from its extraordinary eyes the tiny pinpricks between its eyelids can be rotated independently, enabling it to scan through 360 degrees. Its brain can interpret the information from each. It's like watching two different movies at the same time.